everybody, welcome to Facebook Live. And my name's Claudia Lefebvre, and I'm a nutritional therapist and eating psychology coach. And I am delighted to be here today with Fiona from Enjoy Food With Me. Now please give us lots of thumbs up and lots of hearts. And I need to know if you're hearing us properly, if the sound quality is good enough. Uh, I've searched high and low. Polly's joined. Sorry, Molly, Polly's joined. Hi, Polly. Um, I have searched high and low for microphones, but um, I haven't found any yet. So, so please just let us know that you're hearing us okay. Two people have joined. Fantastic. You don't need to keep giving me updates, Charlie. That's okay. Just when comments happen. So we're going to be making energy bites. And I just wanted to tell you quickly a little bit about Fiona. I met Fiona. Looks great. Gla gals. Fantastic. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about Fiona and I met Fiona seven years ago when she was an incredible baker and That's she was right, making, um, you know, fantastic celebration cakes. She's such a creative lady and she signed up for one of my six week programs and I was sitting there thinking, how am I going to tell this lady who, whose livelihood depends on wheat and dairy and sugar, how am I going to explain to her that these foods aren't agreeing with her? Yes, yeah. that's right, Claudia. You changed my life forever when I joined um, your, your fitness and food program. I couldn't believe it when I was making all these really like three tier cakes and my kids were actually coming and they were actually um, taking, you know, leftover icing and they'd be going crazy, crazy yes. with the colorants. And then I realized that something wasn't quite right in, in the ingredients. Then I joined your fitness and food class and it changed from there. And, and now yeah. you're a phenomenal health food blogger. Yes, yes. And really, it's really worth looking at Fiona's Enjoy Food With Me Facebook yeah. page and following her on Instagram and all the other mediums because she is not only are the recipes amazing, but she's a, a, an incredible photographer, food photographer. Yeah, because everything I do, I put my passion into the food and the photography at the same time. So, you know, every single thing I make, I photograph from the ingredients to the method, to the finished product. So, um, and now it's changed the lives of me and my family. My children, there's no sugar in the house, but yet we still can have sweet things with um, all our lovely dates and raw honey and, you know. So you don't have to go without just because you want to cut out sugar and, you know, unhealthy ingredients. So that's so, wonderful. Yeah. So Fiona, today you're gonna to be talking yeah. us through your energy bites. Yes, yes. And here are some, and Finished examples. Yes, yes. Shauna made those today. So um, with me, so my daughter. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So it's it's something that the whole family can do. You can just mm -hmm. all muck in, and you can have any variety. You can. Um, I use a crumb base, so I make the crumb base first, and then to that you can add any any ingredients you really want. So um, I'll give you a few examples today. Great. So yeah. shall I pass you over? Yes. Yeah. So you're going to make yeah. the crumb base crumb, first. Crumb base first, yeah. So um, we, uh, usually I do the nuts first. So I'll put in half a cup of ground almonds first. Mm -hmm. yeah. Half a cup of ground. And then half, half a cup of cashews. Um, these cashews are raw cashews which have been soaked yes. for a few hours. So, so um, even though this blender is, is amazing, it doesn't need soaked nuts. I always do soak nuts because it's, it's like uh, germinating a seed. You activate all the enzymes and you get even more goodness from the nuts yes. and the seeds. So I'm putting in um, a cup of, that was half a cup of cashews. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be a cup of raw almonds that have been soaked because. Great, and yeah. Fiona, shall we, we'll put a link to these recipes. Yes, it's comments. on my blog anyway. Um, so that's what Gillian my... O'Down. Yes. Okay. Yummy, looks delicious <laughs> ladies, thank you. Thanks Gillian. Hi Gillian. Hi Gillian. <laughs> so, so what I do is we just grind them up a little okay. bit, do the nuts first. So that's the um... right, guys. You're just gonna have to excuse any noise. Perfect. So now I'm gonna add two cups of dates to this. So, um, so, so um, something that you can play with if you don't want to add so many dates is you yeah. can add nut butter instead because the dates serve two purposes not just the sweetness but also helping to bind these energy bites but you could so easily just add in 
uh, a little bit of extra yes. nut butter. I'll add a it. bit of um, this is cashew butter that I add in my recipe, but you can put peanut butter, any butter, almond butter, whatever butter you like. So, um, mm. yes. So that's fine. Okay. Do you need this blended? Um, again? Now blended together. So this is the crumb base. That's all you need in your crumb base. Okay. Well, that's pretty easy, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. So, um, right. so we're going to do two flavours today. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to do two flavours today. This is goji berry, and we're going to do spirulina in this one. So the goji berries here are soaked, so that it softens them. But you could do any variation. Here's a lovely ver um, some pistachios and mango, but you'd have to soak any and any, any of the dried fruit should be soaked. So we're just going to Great, add, I've got the you know, thermo mix too. Yeah. Oh yes, the thermo mix is oh, fantastic. It's, it's lovely. Now, a lot of people might not like the sound of the spirulina, but it's just such an incredible nutritious food. It's uh, they say it th has 3000 um, times more iron than spinach. Wonderful for detoxifying, especially arsenic. Yeah. Arsenic, arsenic yeah, is a, a problem it's in the world. It, with the, it's yeah. in the water supply. And I was reading an article the other day saying that 3% of Bangladeshis have arsenic poisoning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's in a lot of rice and now the yes. rice cakes as well. So, um, yes, so, yes, so the key with the rice is to soak yeah. the rice. Yes. So, yeah. um, now this, I like this one, yeah. the, these spirulina petals, because honestly, I promise you, they're very, they're very light in flavour. Yes, yes. So, so I don't so know I, how much. I just do two tablespoons, Perfect. you know, because you don't want to overpower it. So, no. Um, yeah. And then you can always add more. The beauty about this is you can add more to your mix and, and you can do it on flavour. If you feel it's not sweet enough, your children like it sweeter, add a little bit of honey. But to me, the dates are plenty sweet. So, so should I put yeah. this? Let's put it back. And, a little you know, mix. and it depends on the dates that you're using. So, Sorry. yeah. Sorry. You um, it depends on the dates you're using. If, if you have very sticky dates, um, then it, it'll make it very, very, um, it'll be, make it very, um, um, it'll make it um, nice and moist. But if you've got very dry dates, it's not moist enough. So you might, you know, need to add, you can add a, a tablespoon of water or, you know. Okay. So, yeah. Or some more nuts. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, perfect. So now what we have to do is get rolling. So there you go. There we go. Wow. So, yeah. So great. just um, all you need is this is a delicious, a really really nice consistency. So that's the consistency, and you just literally roll in your hands like that, and there you make a ball. You can dip it in anything you want. You could dip it in in dried almonds, or you can leave it plain like this. Um, well, we've got some. Yeah. We've got some coconut, and, and you brought this. Yes, yeah. amazing beetroot yeah. seeds sprinkle. sprinkle. Yeah, so that's really nice. So um, yeah, maybe we'll just. Take out a bit of beetroot sprinkle, and you um, can and you can make it even simpler it than this. Uh, Charlie, you sometimes make these for your for your breakfast, don't you? What yeah. what? Do, how do you make them? I make them with. You don't have to. You can stay. You can yeah, stay. I just make them with peanut butter and oats, so honey, um, flax seeds. Yes. Yeah, so, so there's four ingredients, and you just do enough in a little bowl, and you make yeah. probably like. Three of these, and you have them for breakfast the next yeah, day, don't but you? Yeah, you? mine you have to put in the fridge for quite a while. In the fridge, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna, so, yeah. I'm gonna and they're nice that plain that. as well, because the goji berries have lovely colour. And look, so it's very, very inviting. So, just put up a few plain ones. And then what you do is you then, you put them in the fridge for, say, an hour, and it sets it. And even when you take it out the next day, um, no, even when you take it out, if you have it out after an hour, and the next day it's still nice and hard, because it just it just seems to set it for good. So even in the heat, it doesn't seem to melt up again back to the mush. That's so good. it's nice. It's, it keeps it solid. So um, yeah, that's really okay. Good. Yeah. You have got a comment. It says, "Hope the delicious treats are going to be allowed in my program, Claudia." <laughs> it looks so yummy. That was. Wallacey Junior. Oh, Wallacey, you can definitely do an adult. After the 10 days, you can definitely be having these. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good yeah. question. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, what, what I find as well is that it's a great idea to freeze them. They freeze really well, yeah, and do. otherwise they're just gone. You know, um, <laughs> they're so moorish and delicious. 
So you either make a, a, them in small quantities or do a big batch and, and freeze. I think I made mean, mine a bit yeah, bigger. Yeah, it doesn't matter the size. You can have them as a, a, a mini bite or you can have it as a big, <laughs> big bite. <laughs> But um, it's brilliant for your children's lunch boxes. I mean, just start off, if your kids are fussy eaters, just start off with the chocolate one, with the co cocoa powder or raw cocoa. And um, you just, you know, just keep it simple. If, they don't, if they're fussy, don't put the coconut on. And they, 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 honestly, they will think that they're eating a lovely chocolate truffle. They, they <laughs> so, will. Yeah. And yeah. So, yeah. so many schools don't allow nuts. Yeah. So what you can do is you can use pumpkin seeds, yeah. in the um, sunflower seeds, linseeds, chia seeds. There's, you don't have to have the nuts. No. Um, so, so that it's safe to take to the schools. Yeah. Sure, when you give me stuff like this, it doesn't actually have chocolate. It has raw cacao. So yep. it, it, tastes so, like, it tastes like chocolate. So you raw tricked cacao. me into eating them? Yes. Oh. So um, my children, yeah. Yeah. Charlie has recently discovered the real Nutella, but my children for many years thought that my combination of raw cacao with honey and peanut butter was actually Nutella, was the real Nutella. They didn't think it, it was anything different yeah. because it's so delicious. Um, so These are fully full of antioxidants, so very good for your skin and your health, so, yeah. yeah. So guys, we'll be checking in the comments, but do please post any pictures if you feel inspired, hopefully you're feeling inspired to get making some energy bites of your own. Yeah. Just use whatever you've got in your cupboard, and, um, and we'd love to see a photo. Post up a photo. Yeah. Because um, the, the, the chocolate ones are, um, are the favourites in our house anyway, so they? they're all cacao. We call them chocolate, but they're not chocolate. They're raw cacao, so yeah. So the thing about raw cacao is that it hasn't been um, mm -hmm. processed. It's not at high temperature, so mm -hmm. it still has all the antioxidants that, um, that oh. is evaporated from the processed chocolates. Mm -hmm. So do you want to make any more? Or? No, no, that's yeah. good. Yeah, that's good. Um, that's good. That's good. Mum? A, a guy called Henrik has messaged you. Are you live because I can't see you? Ah, okay. Well, oh dear. Oh dear, yeah. Just, just, just reply back saying yes. Can you reply back saying yes? Uh, I can't really. I think it's when... Ah. So you mean, shall we do... We could do a quick... Yes. A quick do, yes. Do, let's do a quick um, yes. chocolate one. Yeah. Because they, they're a very uh, good hit from the family. So. Oh. Fantastic. That'd be good. I so guys, just as a little aside, it, as a little aside, if, if any of you are considering becoming a nutritional therapist, I'm having a Facebook Live on Monday with the British College of Nutrition and Health, BCNH, and I'm talking to them about all the opportunities for nutritional therapists that are out there, because I have to say it's such an exciting field to be working in, and I love it. I, Love all this collaboration. Yeah. Um, it, you know, there's so many really exciting projects going on. Fantastic. And it's, it's just lots. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so okay, we'll, we'll make another. We'll do another batch. So we'll do another batch. Uh, Bonita. Ah, uh, uh, hi, Bonita. Um, Dupet is <laughs> looking forward to getting the recipe later. Yes. yes. And then Jackie Muck. Colon Tanners. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yim. So wonderful, thank you. Oh, good. Oh, well, goodness. Jackie, I hope we're inspiring you. And Bonita. I know you love to bake, Bonita, so hopefully. So you'll we'll see. just grind those up again. And these are so good for the adrenals, all these nuts, you know, they're rich in magnesium, and then you've got all the vitamin C and the you know the goji berries yeah. and the dried fruit and the, the spirulina as well, amazing. <laughs> You don't have to, I mean, obviously the, these ingredients from the health stores are the ones that we, I always use, but if you really are on a tight budget, you can find them in most supermarkets and you can just go for your normal dates and nuts, but mm -hmm. obviously I prefer the, the health store. But, you know, just if any family can budget. You can budget, and yeah. for example, you don't have to buy, you can buy whole linseeds, so yeah. they're a lot yes. cheaper than buying yeah. them already yeah. ground. Yeah, yeah. we add budget. chia seeds, everything, you know, so. Right. In fact, oh. you, you can just decide on your flavour. So. We've got a question. First, she said totally. Then Jackie said, 
Will the recipe be shared? Yes. Yes. So it's actually on my blog, but we will we will put the link. We'll put, put the link yeah. in after the. So this, we're going to put yeah. a link to all all yeah. Fiona's social media. Yeah. And and also to the blog about the recipes yeah. but really it's what we wanted to do today is to inspire you to just get creative and, and make it up as you go along and, and be thinking about all these different ingredients and all the nutrition and nourishment that's in them uh, yeah and Polly Lavazano I said Charlie you're a pro yeah oh, well, he's and doing really well <laughs> um, everyone, Charlie is my nine-year-old son who has stepped in to help us. Oh, he would like to get in front of the camera. <laughs> He's come in to say hello. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. So yes, let's set up together, and then we'll and get And this. also, this long comment, young Claudine. I make a. Oh, this is Karen. I'm. I'll make a version for lunch boxes: oats, milled flax, coconut butter, Sounds cocoa delicious. nibs. And dried apricots, splash Ooh. of orange juice. Oh, well, that sounds yeah. really good. I love the idea of the coconut butter because I have tried before to make them with coconut oil, and that's fine when they're refrigerated. Yes, but they can I, get I really greasy when you. <laughs> yeah. When you it can put, be greasy if they, if they yeah. warm up. So I love Karen. I love your idea of the coconut yeah. butter. That's really clever. Yeah. <laughs> Also, Jackie has said woohoo, and Bonita <laughs> said, Claire, would you would you like to know how many how many could she eat in a day? Oh. <laughs> Claire, would, okay. Oh, good question. <laughs> well, um, I would say, what would you say? A couple? Yes. Well, I'd often Depends. have one with a cup of tea in the morning, and then I'd have one after my dinner in the evening because they're actually. They're very, very sustainable. They, yeah. they, they last, you know. The, you know. the thing is, Claire, to be honest, it really yeah. depends how much, what the ratio of dates to nut butter yes. is. Yeah, <laughs> because true. Because the dates, if it's, if it's heavy dates, then, you know, one. But yeah. if it's, if it's um, like with the nut butters and it's actually not yeah. as sweet, then you could mm -hmm. have two. Yeah, there's a... And the size as well. You, you notice the difference in the sizes. Yes, yes. You can you could make four small ones and that means you can have four four <laughs> so, in a day. So sorry, Fiona, yeah. how much so, did you so put I, two? I did two, two heaped tablespoons, but you could put three. You know uh, that was the equivalent of two heaped, but you could put three if you want it really chopped. You have some more now, stuff. Now, if you if you find it too bitter, you can add um, a tablespoon of raw honey. Yeah, because so, this, yeah. This, this is bitter. Yes, it's delicious. It's I'd say you probably delicious. would need. Would you like to put a tablespoon of honey or? Let's yeah, let's put, yeah, because this um, is my, I usually do. I'm I'm a bit of a foodie, and this mm. is my orange blossom raw honey, oh, and I mm. oh, it's just amazing. Yeah, so that mm. should be enough. But you can always add it later if you feel it's not sweet enough. Okay. Um, so Jackie has said thank you, Charlie, and then Karen, Claudia will send you my recipe. Oh, thanks, Charlie. Karen. I used to work next to your mum. And there's some more. Shauna Tate. Oh, oops, oops that's a, there's a link there. Oh, yeah, thanks, she, she's Shauna put the link for sharing in. the link. That's my daughter. She's so put did, the link in, yes. Did you yes. Put the, to the recipes? Yeah. Or to the, oh, brilliant. Oh, good. And um, Ruth Dignam. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> You're doing awesome at the job. Hi, Claudia. Oh, wow. I'm glad we get, I mean, we get yes. a mention. That's great. <laughs> um, Ali Singh, oh, I can't pronounce that. Ashling, Ashling. Yeah. Um, Meady, I think that's what he Mead. says. Mead. Yeah. yeah. Hi, I love your blog. Enjoy food with me. Oh, thank oh, you very much. Oh, thank Fiona. you. Thanks, Ashling. And then Jackie has said, is that a big processor? This is a Thermomix. It's, yeah, any any powerful food processor will do, but the firm mix is definitely the la creme de la creme because I have one at home. And the first thing I asked when Claudia asked me, could I join her today? I said, do you have a thermomix? So I was delighted to hear because, but you can still put it in a normal, um, you know, food processor, but it might be a bit nuttier because it won't grind the nuts quite so much. But it's delicious because we made one recently in in just my friend's 
food processor and it was just but, nutty. Or you, I mean, you, nice can, nutty or you as can well. buy you yeah. can buy ground almonds yeah. or ground nuts yeah. and do you do them in your nutri bullet, which yes. is a lot, you know, which is less than a minute that you yes, can. Yes, you can. You can. You could even do them by hand with ground nuts. Yeah, in fact, Charlie, yeah. Charlie yeah. makes his protein balls yeah. just mixing them with a um, with yeah. a spoon in a bowl. So yeah. he's got the peanut butter, the oats. The Lynn's ground yeah, seeds and a bit of honey, isn't it? Yeah, you've got some more questions from okay. Karina Gidit Gideon. Oh, hi, Karina. Um, hi, Karina. You're all so adorable, smiley face. <laughs> Sometimes I add fine grated carrots and energy bites. Oh, that's a lovely idea. That's a lovely idea. And then Jackie McCulkin Thames. For my next. For Thermomix. Yeah. Thermomix. Okay. We could we could put a link maybe to the yes. Yeah. I'll just. Um... <laughs> after this <laughs> yes yeah so mm. here they are now looking lovely and chocolatey you see so you just roll these again now this is a nice small one <laughs> Oh, it's probably going no, to no. the big one oh no I, actually yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm moderate now I've got so let's, um... that's leaving it plain and then um, yeah and then you can dip it it's delicious so it's do... absolutely delicious with coconut here's coconut yeah we could Oh, do you know what else I've got, which is really lovely for, if you're feeling a little bit low in your immunity, a little bit of bee pollen mm -hmm. is lovely to, yeah. yeah. It's great for the colds and flu, Great for the immunity, great. Yeah. And so you, what you can do is you could do like a hormone boosting ball. That's, that yes. That sounds a bit strange, <laughs> doesn't it? But you know, yeah. the linseeds, yeah. the, a tablespoon of linseeds does amazing things for hormones every yeah. day. Um, it has a mild oestrogenic effect, it's wonderful. Um, so you could do that ground almonds or almonds with limb seeds. Um, it would be a fantastic combination yeah. for... And also maca powder. Yes. Um, I do a matcha green tea one with pistachios. It's absolutely delicious. So, you know, so it's, you can do any combination you like. So. Fantastic. That's great. And what kind of things have you got in the pipeline, Fiona? What are you going to be, what kind of recipes are well, you... Well, the thing is, um, as we used to live in Spain, but we spend four months a year in Spain, um, we moved back to Ireland, and now my emphasis is on teaching everyone in Ireland that you can actually eat the Mediterranean way. When we left, when we left, I thought I could go one way or the other. We went the Mediterranean way, and I can't believe how we have been able to stick to that diet it's um this beautiful fruit and veg you can the the organic fruit and veg is fantastic there so you don't just have to live in the mediterranean spain italy to have that way of eating so actually we're actually in fact i think we're actually healthier now because we're so aware of how unhealthy you can become yes. so you know so yeah so it's it's very well positive done. well yeah. done yeah. Okay, so you have got some some yeah messages things okay what's jackie Muck, Col Col you can yeah. just say first yeah. name. Jackie, Jackie says thank you. Polly says wish there was smell o vision. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Polly, what a great oh, idea. Well, we'll just say it doesn't smell good. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say we'd save you one, Polly, but I know you're yeah. not back for a while. <laughs> oh. I don't know if there'll be any left. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sure Charlie will have a few, won't you, mm. Charlie? Do you mean all of them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say actually, yeah. if any of my neighbours happen to be watching, yeah, you're welcome. There are a lot. I can you are tell welcome you. to a pop lot. around, yeah. and and all, all my yeah. clients, if you know where yeah. I am, and you'd like to pop round and try some, you're yeah. very welcome. Yeah, we're really there. So, um, Guys, well, thank you so much for joining us, and thank you so much. It's been a Fiona. pleasure. It's, it's been a pleasure. It's so lovely. To it's so great you. to catch up, you know, since we've been back. So it's yeah. been brilliant. Yeah. I'm really yeah. pleased. I'm really pleased. And guys, we've got exciting things in the pipeline. Um, what's going on, Dr. Sala? I'm with. We're still doing the Facebook Live, but it's probably going to be at the end of the summer. Um, I've been busy with GBC filming a TV show called 30 Days Organic, which is really fun, exciting. That looks amazing. I saw that, the link to it. It's yes, so, so this lady is eating only organic food for 30 days and we're going to see what happens. 
Um, she, she's not changing her diet in any way apart from eating organic, switching to organic version. Um, and I'm off to France, and we're, I, but I will be, over the summer I will do, be doing Facebook Lives, but they'll be a little bit more spontaneous and... Um, yes? Wallacey. Wallacey, hi Wallacey. Um, say one for me, Claudia. My I, 10 days de my ten days detox finishes today, so I can oh, have great. a treat tomorrow. Um, Wallacey, I'm Wallacey, I'm seeing you at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, aren't I? So, um... <laughs> I'll definitely save one for you. And I, I have done the 10 day detox and it's fantastic. In fact, I did the six week detox yes. and it worked a treat, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, so, that's yeah, it. yeah. That's great. Fantastic. Well, guys, okay. thank you Thanks so much. much. Okay, take See care. You Bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Brett, you can press finish. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Oh. Yay. Oh. Oh.